Hi guys, uh, today I want to show you how to set up your Outlook 2007, 2010 or 2013 to access your Hotmail account via IMAP protocol. Now all you need for this uh, to, to set this up is your Hotmail or Outlook.com username which is your email address and password and you'll need Microsoft Office 07, 10 or 13 installed on your PC or device. Uh, pen and paper would be good too. All right, now before we just uh, we get started with the uh, the setup, I'll just show you how to get to the page we're after in uh, two different or three different viewpoints. First of all, is a, a brand new Office installation. Uh, it's a little bit different. So you, if if you've got a, a never before set up Outlook, uh, I'll show you that first. We just open up Outlook and you'll come to the Startup page. Now this page is the same for 07, 010 and 013 versions. Uh, for that one we click Next. We leave it selected at Yes for Configure an Email Account. And this is the page we're after. The Auto Account Setup page. Uh, in 2007 it's a little different because we've got the tools menu up the top. So we hit the tools menu and account settings is the menu item we want to click. And from there we click the new button. We leave it selected at pop IMAP or HTTP. Click next and we're on the auto account setup page. For 2010 and 2013 it's uh, pretty much the same. We just go to the File tab and make sure the Info tab is uh, selected and you'll see an Add Account button there. That's the one we want to click and we're on the Auto Account Setup page. So we should all be looking at the same page now. Uh, now from this point we select the Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types down the bottom there and click Next. Uh, we want to leave it selected at internet email and we're on the internet email settings page alright so we'll start filling that out now uh, obviously put your name in the name box your full email address in the next one uh, now for account type we want to choose IMAP and incoming mail server is IMAP IMAP dash or hyphen mail dot outlook dot com so I'll go through that again IMAP hyphen mail dot outlook dot com that's the server you want for outgoing server it's SMTP SMTP hyphen mail dot outlook dot com alright uh, in the username field um, for some reason it doesn't complete the full email address but you really need to complete that in there uh, because otherwise things won't work and password, obviously, probably password in there. Um, leave the remember password box checked and definitely don't check the SPA secure password authentication. We leave that unchecked. We leave test account settings checked and then we down the bottom right hand corner we click the more settings button. Now the first one we want is outgoing server tab and we select my outgoing server requires authentication and the second setting there is use same settings as my incoming mail server so we leave that checked or selected once you finish there click the advanced tab now uh, for incoming server these are ports okay um, so we want incoming server we want the type as SSL and the port as 993 for incoming IMAP server. All right. For outgoing server, 
we want TLS encryption and we want to change that to port 587 uh, server timeouts it's probably a good idea to bring that up to about five minutes uh, but the rest you can leave at defaults so just go over those settings again incoming server IMAP 993 and encryption type SSL outgoing server SMTP port 587 encryption type TLS and we click OK to that now at this point uh, we just click the next button and it will test those settings for you so if there's any problems we can always go back um, but that should come up with two green ticks in a minute okay so we've got two green ticks there if that's what you've got as well which you should uh, you can click the close button and you'll come up to the uh, congratulations page you can click finish and you're all done now if you have a red one or two red crosses there that means that some of the information uh, is incorrect or there's a problem with the server now um, for the first one if you have a, a red cross on that it's something to do with your incoming server all right uh, if you have a red cross on the second one uh, the send test email message that will be a problem with your outgoing server all right so at least it narrows it down a little for you so we click close once that and congratulations finish and you're all done now there'll be a couple of pop-ups uh, if it's a new installation uh, this is Outlook is not currently your default program for email now if you want it to be your default then click yes obviously uh, if not then click no and one more pop-up will come up in a tick about updates um, I, w I would suggest that you you select the install updates only um, or the use recommended settings but uh, the one down there uh, don't make changes I, I don't recommend that so at the very least installed updates only and click OK and you're all done you should be getting your email cheers guys